Hey, it's Dusty Martin with Platinum Living Realty. Today is January 11th, 2024, and I am dropping in with your year-over-year final numbers for 2023. So buckle up, hit the subscribe button, and let's go. Okay, for the city of Scottsdale, this is how things turned out for the year, year over year. Our active listings ended the year up 1.8% over this time last year, and our sold listings were up 11.3% over this time last year. Our median sale price per square foot is also up 9.2% over this time last year. That's a big jump. It's not as big as we've seen in past years. However, that is a lot more than what is historically normal. Historically normal is like two to 4%. And over the last year, we've seen things go up and then kind of slide back down and then level off. And here we're at 9.2, which, you know, it's not the 15, 25, 35, 50 percent year over year appreciation we saw between 2019 and early 2022. So it actually is a pretty good gain year over year. Is it double digits? No, but it's also more than is expected for normal appreciation. So keep that in mind. This is not bad. In fact, it's great. Our months of supply though um, is down 8.6% over this time last year. I think that's because there was news of um, interest rates dropping towards the end of the year last year um, in 2023 with the promise that rates would likely continue to go down through 2024. So we're ending our months of supply in Scottsdale for 2023 with 3.79 months of supply. So about a half a step, a couple weeks worth of inventory inside a seller's market so you will see gentle upward pressure but we're not going to see insane pressure unless something changes now wait till the end I will break down by price point what that means for you because they're not all created equal and some are not what you would expect them to be so Keep that in mind. Our median days on market though is down 23.5% over this time last year. That means homes are selling for 9% more in 23.5% less time than they were last year. So with that said, we went from 68 average days on market to 52 days. That's, that's a couple weeks off of closing. So things are selling faster by a few weeks. It never took a long time to begin with. In fact, we barely got to a historical economic even point or stable point we just kind of like had this drop we had this pause and then we dropped our days on market again so we never even made it to buyer's market territory overall at least in the in terms of the amount of time it should take to sell the average home if you have a multi-million dollar home you need to watch the end because this will be very different for you. Like I said, the months of supply for overall in Scottsdale this year uh, ended the year out at 3.79 months of supply, so just under four months, meaning mostly overall a seller's market, but that's not the case for some price points. So if you find this information valuable, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, show me in the comments what stats and statistics you would want to see if I'm not already covering them. With that, let's move into our supply and demand by price range. This, um, this is where pricing your home really comes into play. This is something your agent absolutely must know how to do. But then also, if you are a buyer, you must know what you're up against so that you're not spinning your wheels and wasting your time. When we look at the zero to $100,000 price range, we don't have any data. There's only one home available. It hasn't sold. And this time last year, we had the same issue. So chances are it came onto the market at the end of last month or it's not the type of home that's easily financed or maybe there's even something wrong with it so with that said knowing Scottsdale like I do there's a good chance that this particular property is a co-op not a condo and there are more hoops to jump through as you try to get approved to purchase the home but it also must only be cash because most of those are not financeable then we're looking at the 100 to 200 thousand dollar price range we're at 22 months of supply there. That is an unheard of number. And I don't know what's going on there because this is the most amount of inventory I have seen in this price range 
in years. And 22 properties is not a lot. Only one sold this month. So that gives us two years worth of inventory. So are we in a buyer's market? Technically, maybe, but I'm willing to bet that as people come into town for the Phoenix Open, for Barrett Jackson, for all of those things, those big events that people come into town for every year, and um, as things turn into our late winter and early spring temperatures that everybody covets so badly, I have a feeling we're going to see this inventory vanish the minute people decide they want to start buying investments again or if they want to start buying properties again. So for now, it's a buyer's market, but I'm not sure I trust that going into 2024, knowing that December is always our slowest month. These all could have been dropped on the on the market at the end of the month, giving no time for those sales to go under contract or let alone close. And so chances are, I have a feeling we will see a pretty wild swing in that specific price point as we move through the first quarter of 2024. Then our $200,000 to $300,000 price range, we were back to a pretty hot seller's market at two months worth of inventory. Again, only 41 properties, 20 of them sold. In other words, if no new properties came on the market, it'd take the remaining ones about two months to sell. Our $300,000 to $500,000 price range, we are at 3.67 months of supply. This is where you start to see a lot of um, our starter homes, um, condos, townhouses, stuff like that in Scottsdale now. We're at 3.67 months of supply. That's also a seller's market, albeit not as hot. It's You're gonna see gentle upward pressure, but you probably won't see list or over list prices or sales. You will probably also not see a lot of bidding wars. So keep that in mind. If you're a seller, try to be patient and try not to compare your home to what maybe your neighbor down the street with a larger, more expensive home or even less expensive home is witnessing because your price range has more competition and more inventory. Then we look at our 500 to $700,000 price range. This is about the entry level point for a single family detached home in Scottsdale these days. And you're sitting at 2.79. I would expect a bidding war here too with multiple offers of like maybe two to three offers unless you've been very aggressive with your pricing and your marketing. And then as we look at the 700,000 to a million price point, this is at 2.79 months of supply. That's that's a pretty hot seller's market. It's very strong. You're still going to see a little more upward pressure on those homes and maybe one or two more bidding wars than you would have normally seen. However, with that said, I also would expect now that January 1st has come and gone, I expect that number to also get more competitive for buyers, meaning they might be bidding more against each other as we go through this. Like I've been saying for months and years at this point, January 1 is kind of like there's a gun goes off, everybody's off to the races, and I'm already starting to see that with my own buyers and my own listings. So keep that in mind. We are past the holidays. Everybody is go, go, go. And I would expect that these numbers shift quite a bit in the next 30, 60, 90 days. Then we look at our one to $3 million price range. This is now the biggest chunk of properties in Scottsdale. And we are sitting at 5.33 months of supply. This means that we are not quite yet at an even stable market. However, we are very close to an even stable market. So I would expect those price ranges to kind of hold and stay for a little bit as people try to get their bearings and figure out what's going on with interest rates and the real estate market. There's all these clickbait articles over the last year that have been saying a real estate crash is coming and I get emails from my own buyers all the time saying, eh, we want to hold off. We we want prices to come down. The only thing that will make that happen is for more homes to become available. And quite honestly, we are not building enough of those to make that happen. So as interest rates start to come down and um, the buying power of those buyers who still want to buy a home increases, I would expect those prices are going to go up and you are going to find yourself, if you're thinking that prices are going to go down, you've already missed that window. That was a year ago. Let me say that again. That was a year ago. That has come and gone. And as we go into this presidential election cycle, 
I hate to say it, I've said it more than once, I'm not saying it's a conspiracy, but it sure is quite the coincidence that in presidential election years, interest rates go down and therefore home prices go up. So with that said, I would just pick your character and move on. Then we're gonna look at the $3 million and over. This is also um, now one of the staples of the Scottsdale real estate market. Really anything between 700 and over, that's that's where the majority of homes fall now in Scottsdale. And so with 3 million and over, we're at a 6.94 months of supply now. That isn't technically a buyer's market, but it's leaning towards one. Eight months or more would be a buyer's market. So if six months is completely straight up and down even, less than six months, we go more uh, towards the seller's favor. Past six months, closer to eight or past eight is more in the buyer's favor. So right now, over $3 million, it's kind of leaning towards buyers right now. That might change in the next quarter. And to be honest, I think we'll have a spike, we'll have a bump, sales will move a little bit more as we're used to, especially when you put into perspective the fact that this time last year in this price range, we were at a 10 month supply of inventory. It truly was a buyer's market this time last year in Scottsdale. So here we've come full circle from 2022 in December, looking at 2023 and going into 2024. We are no longer in that buyer's market for the $3 million range and over. Like I said last year, this is the blip do it now. Not a lot of people listened. And now I have a lot of emails in my inbox saying, oh, I'm waiting for prices to come down. Barring some kind of catastrophic event that really decimates our economy, prices are going to keep going up. So I hate to say it, that's what it is. If you're wondering what your home would sell for, or if you're wondering about a specific statistic that you'd like to hear that I don't cover in these videos, please drop it down below and let's talk. Let's have a conversation because I want to bring value. If you have any other questions, go ahead and give me a call at 480-717-9405 or visit my website at DustyMartinRealtor.com.